Hey guys, it's Liv. I just wanted to make a video to um, document my progress, I guess you could say. So my blister popped, as you can see, and it's like really red around it, which I don't really know why, but it's not infected because I went to physical therapy yesterday and they said it was fine. I'm guessing because it was kind of irritated beforehand and I kind of popped it when I wasn't supposed to. See, you're not supposed to pop it because it could like lead to infection, but it was so itchy that I kind of popped it by accident while I was like sleeping because I kept like itching it with my other foot. And my whole leg is so itchy right now. I was actually just putting like Benadryl on it to, you know, kind of ease the itch. And it's not really working, so I'm kind of upset. But um, I wanted to document my scar and the bruising on the back of my leg is a lot better. Um, obviously my leg is still kind of swollen, but the swelling down by my shin has gotten a lot better. It's not as like bubbly and really nasty. So if you look at the previous videos, you can see that it's really come a long way. Obviously my knees are not the same size right now still. Like this one, you can see my kneecap and this one you can't. It's because my kneecap is like two inches below where it should be. And it's just because it's really swollen still. I mean, the swelling will go down and I'm not worried about it, but it's like so weird. <laughs> um, I'm actually three weeks ahead of schedule for range of motion in my recovery process, which is really exciting because last time I was ahead of schedule and then I fell behind schedule. And I'm really hoping that doesn't happen again because I'm really excited and I'm really looking forward to getting back to soccer and everything. I actually counted when I'll be able to go back and I have like 40 weeks left, which is a lot, but I'm looking forward to that day and I'll be counting every week and I'll be very excited when I finally get there. That's like around July of next year. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about the scar. See these sturdy strips? Well, basically because of the blister, they had to cut the sturdy strip that was over here. Because during surgery, the chemicals that they put on my knee to prevent bacteria and infection and everything, um, I guess it leaked down into my skin and created like a pocket. And it had chemicals inside it. So when the blister popped, green stuff came out. It was a big yellow blister and now there's green stuff coming out of my leg which is really disgusting, but you know, I have to document this stuff because I'll forget. Um, so when they took the sturdy strip off, because it like kind of lifted up after the blister popped, there was another blister underneath, which I did not know about. So that one's kind of like more raw, as you can see. The skin around it looks kind of like soft, but it's actually really hard. And there's a huge indent in my knee right now. It's like really weird. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, this is like not helping. No, that's not helping, Never mind. Um, so the sturdy strip's kind of lifting up still, so you can kind of see underneath it. But, you know, I don't know what other people's looks like, but that's what mine looks like underneath. It's kind of gross, but, you know, whatever. Um, all these will start falling off once I start getting it more wet, because it'll, like, it'll get wet and then it'll dry and, you know, back and forth. And they'll start peeling and then I'll get to cut them. And then eventually they'll just fall off and my knee will just be an open scar. And my sister's going to come in now. Dude, I'm on. What do you want? There she is. Little what? star of the video I just posted. What? Girl, can you get out? I'm doing a video. Get out. Go. A what? My knee. Scooch. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> um, what was I saying? I don't know. <laughs> She's so annoying. Oh my god. Um, yeah, so the scar will be kind of open. And I learned from personal experience last time that when all these strips come off, you think like, oh wow, the scar is going to be super thin and like awesome. And it's like this little indent in your leg and you're like, oh, that's great. And then like a week later, you just see it like expand and it's this big purple thing. Like this used to be super purpley and lumpy and gross. And I had to put like vitamin E on it and they had to like massage it to make it flat. And the scar that's up here, this isn't itchy. That is like just a little incision. It's not really a big deal. I don't even feel it. But the one over here somewhere, 
See, these go away really fast. Like, I think it's right there. There it is, right here. Um, you obviously can't see it. It's like this nothing. It just looks like skin now. But then these are still here. You can still see those. I'll probably have those for the rest of my life. But I mean, it doesn't really bother me because it's not annoying. And it's just like, it's a battle wound. Just think of it as a battle wound. It's awesome. It shows you're a warrior. <laughs> um, why is this not focusing? This is really annoying. I'm excited to get all of this off, but I can't stress and I can't push myself too hard because if I pull the plug out of my knee, I have to go back under the knife and I really don't want to do that and start from day one again because that would be terrible. I am probably boring you to death of just a video of my knee. So I'm going to go. But if you have any questions, you can subscribe and comment them below. Um, I will document soon. I am so busy because I'm starting with like two homeschooling te teachers a day. And it's like death. My brain's like brain dead afterwards. But it's okay. So yeah, I have to go read now. <laughs> Bye. Love you guys.